With regards to respect, you know, you said, well, human civilization progresses a lot better if we respect one another, and I, I actually don't believe that at all. I believe that human civilization pr progresses and maintains itself when we respect people who've earned respect. You don't just respect everybody randomly. Well, what the hell use is respect if you just respect people randomly? It's like inflating the currency, you know? It's like the Simpsons episode where, you know, Bart gets a trophy because it's every child gets a trophy day. All you do is inflate the currency. Respect is actually limited to that category of people who have earned respect in some manner. So whatever you're talking about with regards to, say, common decency between people, it's not respect. And the definitions actually matter. They matter a lot. And so I hear the respect argument all the time, but you also can't force me to respect you. You, I mean, you might be able to force me to act like I respect you, but you can't force me to respect you. It's just not possible. And you could break me, I suppose, and, and then perhaps I would do it, although I can't see exactly how, precisely. But um, so, so there's a number of... I mean, I, I get your point, and I'm not trying to denigrate it in any sense. There's a complex issue here, which is to what degree do you allow individuals to to govern the conversation that's had about them in their presence or otherwise. But I would just revert back to my original argument, which is that's a negotiation. It's either a negotiation. You've got three states. You can negotiate with someone. You can be their slave, or you can be their tyrant. And I would pick negotiation, but as far as I'm concerned, the law right now, as it's currently instantiated, is a tyrant, and it makes people into its slave, and we're going to pay for that. And it's paid predicated on hypothetically on respect and compassion, but I don't buy that for a second.